Miss Oliver, and it's time for Funky Fluency. All right, so Funky Fluency is something we'll do every week this year. I will read you the poem for the week, and then you guys are going to have that poem for homework, and you're going to practice that poem over and over till it's perfectly fluent. Now remember, good readers don't read super fast. They don't talk, but good readers don't read choppy and read like a robot. Good readers read fluently. And how we do that is by practicing more and more. So I want you to remember ears. When we're reading fluently, it's not about reading fast. It's about ears. So E is going to be expression. You're going to read with expression. So when your character is happy, make your voice happy. When it's sad, make your voice sad. Read fast, slow down. Change your voice to that voice or to a silly voice. Read with expression. The next one is A. A stands for reading automatically. We want to know the words so they just fall right off of our tongue. We want to practice reading automatically. The next one is R. R stands for rhythm. You want to read with a beat. We want to go up and da-da-da-da, change our voice. When we're reading poems, you can do a little, re like you're playing the drums, you're going to do a rhythm. Not just reading everything the same. And the S is for smooth, okay? So when we read, we want to make our voice go smooth, not stopping and pausing for a long time, but reading smooth. So today... Okay, second graders, this week your funky fluency poem is a funny one. It's called My Dog is Purple. Have you ever heard of a purple dog? Now remember this week, read with expression, make your voice go up. There's some parts where I want you to make your voice sound scared, okay? So listen for those clue words of what to do with your voice. This is called My Dog is Purple. My neighbor's dog is purple. Its eyes are large and green. Its tail is almost endless, the longest I have seen. My neighbor's dog is quiet. It does not bark one bit. But when my neighbor's dog is near, I feel afraid of it. My neighbor's dog looks nasty. It has a wicked smile. Before my neighbor painted it, it was a crocodile. All right, I can't wait to hear you guys get silly with this silly poem. 